Right. Uh, what I thought I'd do is show you a, a couple of lines. Uh, well, a couple of figures. Well, a couple of items, to be honest. They're not all both figures. Uh, from a toy line and a film line that I was very into uh, as a child, which was Planet of the Apes. Now, it's hit or miss with that because obviously people watch the rerun. But, you know, with the new ones, with, uh, you know, Dawn and uh, Rise and the new one coming out, I thought it was very apt to, to uh, uh, share a bit of memory, as you could put, what actually links me to this toy line. Uh, when I was a child in the early 70s, we had a summer fair at our school. Now, you've got to remember, summer fairs were really cool in the 70s because it was always theme-related, you know, a proper fair, you know, not just a couple of cape stalls and that was it. Or, you know, you had to pay a fortune to go on a ride. It wasn't like that. And I always remember there was two lines that were at this summer fair. Once was, one line was Thunderbirds and it was the original vehicles and puppets we had at our summer fair. And it was really cool. So I, I saw the original Thunderbird vehicles and puppets. And it was pretty cool. And then, to my amazement, four horses. I always remember this. Came running onto the field. And on them was these. Planet of the Apes. And they were all in their outfits. And uh, which we thought it was pretty cool, you know, and that's a pretty good memory. You wouldn't get that now because it'd be too expensive. But that's what we had. We had Planet of the Apes figure, well, people, real people dressed up in costume on these horses. So that's why I got an affiliation with Planet of the Apes, which made me watch the films, the TV series, the animated series, and the like. So I thought I'd share... I've got a few more lines. Uh, I have one that I'm not going to tell you with my favourite character from Planet of the Apes because I'll do a series about that. But this one is a soldier, obviously. It's by Hasbro 1999. And I came across these because I was looking at the Hot Toys ones and they were quite expensive. For the detail on their faces, wouldn't, I, I wasn't that keen on them. But and then I saw the Hasbro line these are the 12 inch figures and I really like the face sculpt and I like the cost you know it's real proper costume real material comes with its backpack and it's got its weapon and it's just brought so much memories and the boots and it's still stuck on the stand which I think is awesome and originally I have another one which is in the packaging which you'll see in another video and um, I just thought these were so cool. And then obviously they're a fraction of the price. And I thought, you know, there again, you see, that's what I mean. It, it means something to you. It's a lot more important than the value. And, you know, especially in this economy at the moment, you know, you have to be a bit tight with your money. So he is a soldier with his gun. There. And I think he looks pretty cool. And he looks nice on display. So that's the one. Next one is something vintage. Now, I don't mind if something like this one is 1999, which doesn't seem like vintage, but it's cool. I don't really need to buy something from the 60s or 70s if I can buy something that brings back nostalgia, but is better made. And these, I think, are really good figures. The Migos are all right. I like the Migos, but, you know, I can live without them. So here we have... Battle of the Planets, and it is a book and record set. And I was just thinking, how cool is that? You know, uh, you know, you can listen. We've got a record player, so we can actually listen to the, you know, the record, which is there. Still listen, to, you know. Yes, you can listen to it on YouTube, but I don't think you get the same feeling. And it, you know, it gives you something to actually physically read. You know, go along with the story. You know, because obviously it's all on the record, but I just think it's 
you know, I, I, just, I loved things like this when I was a kid as well, you know. So Commando comics, you know, anything that you had to, you know, you could use your imagination, really. So I think that's really cool. So that's the two things I thought I'd share with you on this video. I'm going to do another one with, with uh, Michael in a minute because it's, uh, you know, that's what this channel's about, doing things together or, you know, anyway. So that's a record and a book in one. I can't think you can get much cooler than that. And the figure. And as I say, you know, Planet of the Apes. Fantastic films. You know, it might not stand up to today. But they always, you know, have a special place in my heart. So, uh, thank you for watching. And uh, if you like these videos, please subscribe. If not, thank you for watching anyway. Because I like making them because they're part of my childhood. Thank you.